everyone and welcome. In this short video, I'll be talking about the concept of head and how it's being calculated for uh, compressors. So, there is a remarkable difference between the concept of head for um, the incompressible fluids and compressible fluids. For incompressible fluids, i.e. for liquids, the concept is quite straightforward and I, as far as I have seen, it's very well understood by most of the engineering students and practitioners. And just as a reminder, uh, it is simply the, so if we, it is simply the, the pressure, um, my apologies, I'm not recording yet. So if you take a piece of pipe, right? So if we measure the pressure in this, in this line, and um, so if, let's say we're, we've got the water flowing through the line, and let's assume that the density of the water is 1,000 uh, kilograms per meters cubed, and um, let's say the pressure is some um, 50 bars, then this means that if we if we were to have a straight run of pipe here, the elevation would be something around, and if we assume the, the gravitational acceleration to be equal to, not to 9.8, but let's call it 10 uh, so squ seconds squared, then it would be something like uh, 500 meters. So. For this case, we'd say that the liquid flowing through the pipe has got a head of 500 meters. Again, for liquids, it's straightforward because uh, they are incompressible and the, the height of the column uh, can be easily converted to the pressure and vice versa using the density. Um, due to the nature of the compressible fluids, uh, this doesn't work, this, this, the same rule doesn't apply here. So, uh, we have to define some means to measure the head of the fluid for compressible fluids. Now, this is something being um, confused a lot amongst the engineers. And the main reason is that there are uh, cases, there are people and uh, maybe even companies that are using the concept of uh, the, the, the units of measurement of length, like feet or meters, to uh, represent the head of a compressible fluid as well. It is possible, and we'll come to that later, but again, it is confusing, and uh, it creates a, a more confusion uh, amongst the people. So now let's start from scratch, right? So what is head of a compressible fluid? Uh, I found this uh, beautiful uh, definition in the uh, Forsthofer's uh, Rotating Machinery book. And it says that head required is energy in foot pounds required to compress and deliver one pound of a given fluid from one energy level to another, right? So, um, you can you can say that uh, instead of foot pounds, you can say if you're using the uh, SI units like myself, you can say that uh, it's, it's joules or kilojoules, whatever. And instead of pounds, you can say uh, kilograms. Let's say kilojoules or kilograms. So. Again, head is the energy required to compress and deliver one kilo of a given kilograms of a, of a given fluid uh, from one energy level to another, right? So, um, as you can see at the, um, so again, we've got uh, the energy units here. Uh, so, if you want to... Uh, kilojoules per kilograms, my apologies. So if you want to compress this fluid from the energy state one to energy state two, we will be calling that enthalpy, and we'll go to that soon. 
and if you want to move from pressure P1 to P2, right, then um, you, you're getting actually the differential, uh, you need the differential head of E2 minus E1, right, that is the head. So this differential here is the head that we're after, and that is the, the uh, essentially, the concept of head for uh, compressible 